This episode of Naval Gazing is sponsored by valleygivesback.org. Adding a Valley charity to your estate plan creates a lasting legacy that tells future generations what causes matter to you. Your action will inspire others to follow your lead and make a difference. With a plan gift, you have the power to impact the Valley community forever without affecting your current lifestyle. Learn more at valleygivesback.org, an initiative of the Valley Community Foundation. Plan now, give later, and impact tomorrow at valleygivesback.org. For hundreds of years we brought you the news. For in the info we gave you the clues. Owners' profits were always sky high. Changing market now threatens our lives. Post literation, critical reading, dumb down nation, signs of inbreeding, TV sucking ideas from our head, public discourse, just about dead will ride the dinosaur. Yeah, hey everybody, it's dinosaur. Eugene Driscoll of ValleyIndy.org. Welcome to Naval Gazing, the Valley Indies Weekly podcast. You might hear some background noise. I'm recording this with my iPhone in my living room. It's 100 degrees out. I got a fan going, the windows open, cars passing by, etc., etc. So this is an interview with Jackie the Joke Man Martling, who, to my amazement, agreed to call in May 1st during The Great Give. That is an online fundraiser for more than 400 nonprofit groups in the greater New Haven, Connecticut area. By, uh, by the time everything was done, that effort had raised $1.7 million for various nonprofits. As part of that effort, Ethan Fry and I, the other reporter at valleyindy.org, did this 36 hour uh, live stream, essentially. I won't go into the finer points of it because I know you want to hear the interview. But basically, I had reached out to Jackie and asked if he would come on for an interview. He said yes immediately. I just emailed him through jokeland.com. Uh, I had just read his new book called The Joke Man Bow to Stern, which is available on Amazon. So I had like two pages of notes on it of all these questions I wanted to ask him. Uh, I had watched all these old videos from his time on the Howard Stern show. Uh, I'd done a decent amount of research, but he did not want to talk about Howard Stern really as a person or his relationship or n- lack of a relationship with Stern. You'll hear him. He kind of uh, cuts off that line of questioning and perhaps cuts the interview a little short. We got 11 minutes out of him. But you know what? That's fine with me. Valleyindy.org isn't exactly uh, the Mark Marin podcast, although like that's, that's what I was hoping for. I, I wanted to do sort of an in-depth interview with him. I interviewed Artie Lang and got like 20 to 25 minutes uh, out of him a year or two ago, but that m- might have been for a variety of reasons, uh, you know, given Artie's recent history. But both great guys, both are really kind, and I can't thank Jackie the Joke Man Martling enough for calling up. Oh, I guess if you're if you're a regular listener, uh, you know, you live in Connecticut and listen to this podcast and read the Valley Indie, uh, Jackie the Joke Man Martling was the head writer on the Howard Stern show uh, when that show first got big, when it was on the radio in New York and when they had the show, a show on uh, the Channel 9 show, the famous Channel 9 show. Uh, you know, maybe you love or hate Howard Stern. I don't think there's any denying, there's any, you can't deny the fact, excuse me, that it's the biggest broadcast in the history of mankind. You know, the biggest thing, most influential thing that's ever been on radio. Uh, so I was interested in, talking to Jackie about some of his experiences and uh, that's that I'll shut up again uh, thanks it's Eugene from valleyindy.org here's Jackie oh I guess sorry the other thing I should point out this audio was extracted from a Facebook live video we did so we're live on Facebook Jackie calls in on a landline phone our landline phone it sounded like he had us on speakerphone his audio is pretty weak I was turning it up as I could and uh, it's not this isn't really edited but uh, this was extracted from the live interview I did. Sorry. So, ladies and gentlemen, joining us on the line is former 
Howard Stern Show head writer, Jackie the Joke Man Martling. Hey! What's up, Jackie? Can you hear me? Uh, I, I've been thrilled before. I, I love Connecticut. I worked up there in 1979, you know, uh, the Treehouse Comedy Club in Westport. Now I still do the Treehouse Clubs for Brad Axelrod. Brad Axelrod, yeah. And it's, it's just a joy up there, and I used to go on. Now, is this a radio show I'm talking to? No, Jackie, we're like cable access down like 18 notches. This is just a one-time Facebook Live thing we're doing to raise money for charity. Uh, all right, because I used to go on I-95 with those guys with the Breakfast Flakes and all those characters. I've been around for way too long. Back, <clears throat> you know, 20 or 30 or 40 years ago, there was actually a morning man that, that was a, he had a parrot ventriloquist dummy on the radio. A, not even just a dummy, it was a parrot. Jose and and whatever. Oh, my God. That's it's, it's way too long ago. So so what we're trying to do, we're trying to raise money for you guys? Well, yeah, people are donating right now. They can donate to us. We're a two-person nonprofit organization. Or they can donate to hundreds and hundreds of uh, other charities. But I thought I just wanted to talk to you about your, your book that uh, just came out, The Joke Man Bow to well, Stern. I'll tell you what, if you're, you're kind enough to promote my book, what you got to do is you got to text me or email me uh, a street address, and I will sell, set, sell you, <laughs> I'll send you a signed book that you can auction off or give away for your charity, maybe make a few dollars. I'll, you know, if you want to get somebody's name, I'll, I'll, you know, personalize it. Whatever you need to do. My, my book's on sale at Amazon. Yeah. At Jackie the, Jackie the Joke Man dot com. That brings the page right up. It's Kindle and it's audio book and it's hardcover and uh, you know the uh, the opening is the forwards by Artie Lang and he also did the forward for the for the audio version and it's it's just really a hoot and the feedback's been really incredible and I hope uh, I hope your viewers are you now this is Facebook Live which is video and I'm on the phone. Well, I didn't want to. I, we could have done it by a Google Hangout and all this stuff. I didn't, Jackie. I was just surprised you answered, uh, let alone decided to come on. So I wasn't going to push my luck. You know what? I I spent my whole, I spent ten years writing to people and mail and crap to people and having no idea if they're going to respond. So that's why I love to respond to everybody because it it freaks them out a little. But why not? You know, people responded to me. If they if people hadn't responded to me, I would have never got nowhere. So, like Rodney Dangerfield. I mean, in your book, you go into uh, one of the early chapters. Is I mean, It's a famous story if you're a Howard Stern fan, but the way you hooked up with Rodney Dangerfield, you know, one of the the, the comedian of comedians, went on wait, tour with him. Tell me the truth. You didn't believe all that, did you? Oh, come on! What? You're <laughs> killing me! No, it happened. But but what I wanted to ask you, you, you had that famous falling out where Rodney came on uh, the Stern show at some point. That was all, that was all malarkey. That was all malarkey. Trust me. You know, I did not own money or nothing. That was all, you know, that was all. Uh, if you go back and, well, if you read the book, you can see how it was like uh, fudged and, and it was all crazy. And then when that was done, like Rodney's people even want to ask me if they wanted to keep the feud going at the, at at the a club. theater that night. You know, so. It, but did you ever bury the hatchet with them, though? Or was it, because, I mean, was it. There was no, there was no hatchet to bury. Pals, whenever I ran into him, he said, "Yeah, you give me the best joke I ever had." You know, how could I be mad at you? You know, he was never mad at me. You know, when when that thing came up, they they kind of uh, pigeonholed him into that whole thing. I didn't owe him any money. You know, he had never mentioned it in twenty years. You know, it was it was ball. It was all. You know, it was theater. That's all. And then you know, uh, later on in the book, there's an interesting passage there where you write about how you taught Howard Stern's dog to swim it was one of like the ah, uh, which is if anybody knows anything about dogs in the water knows that that's that's uh, that, that's totally bull you know he he thought i did but i knew i didn't and his dog knew i didn't but in that you say that howard appreciated the sentiment and you wanted to tell him how quote refreshingly normal it was of him uh, to do something oh, like oh, that. What did you mean yeah. by that? Like, in what ways uh, was Howard not normal? No, no, just to come hang out like a normal guy with his dog was like, no, he was plenty normal. Just, just, that was what it was. Was it was uh, a normal hangout for two guys? You know, I, you know, we didn't hang out hardly ever. You know, except when we're on the road. You know, but we we got along great. We just didn't hang out. You know. 
then you sort of regret that to us. Why? Why not? Why wasn't he or you? Uh, yes, we, no, you know, you just don't do that. If you part the same show, you don't hang out with the people on the show. You know, you go do what you're doing, and then you uh, and then you show up on Monday and talk about what happened. You know, that that's. I'll tell you, when I first started on the show, I was surprised to learn that Howard and Robin didn't hang out and go to dinner all the time. But then after a couple of days on the show, you realize, Jesus, we're here five hours a day. We certainly don't need to do, you know, to do more. That's all. Hi, it's Eugene of ValleyIndy.org. Hope you're enjoying this episode of Naval Gazing, the Valley Indy podcast. Just wanted to talk to you for a second about The Valley Gives Back, a new program of the Valley Community Foundation. They're supporting this podcast. Adding a charity to your estate plan creates a legacy that tells future generations what causes matter to you during your life. Your action inspires others to follow your lead and make a difference. And with a planned gift, you have the power to impact your community forever without affecting your current lifestyle. For more information, visit valleygivesback.org. The Valley Gives Back is an initiative of the Valley Community Foundation, Connecting private philanthropy to the long-term public good of the Valley. Plan now, give later, and impact tomorrow at valleygivesback.org. Now back to the show. And then what about, like, you had mentioned on another podcast, I think, that uh, there was the big Howard Stern Christmas show a couple of years ago on Sirius Satellite Radio. And I apologize if it's too inside baseball for our viewers, but whatever. I'm talking to Jack and Joe. you know, tell me, you people want to know any of this stuff, it's all in my book. Go go get my book and you can read the whole history of me with, with Howard and all that stuff. Yeah, I don't want to retread all that crap. You know, it's like, uh, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, it's, everything in my book is, is uh, the gospel truth. So, you know, people uh, people are very interested when they read it because they, they could tell how it rolls that, you know, that's the stuff that went down. You know? And it was good and it's a heartfelt book, but I was just wondering, like, what is it, about Howard's personality that sort of enables him to allow people to sort of disappear from the from the history of that show. I mean, it's the... You know, what, you know I don't know. I'm not going to speculate on that. You know, people, you know, people are the way they are, you know. You know, do I, I, do I think it's weird? Yeah, but it's none of my business. You know, you run your own show. You know, I break up with my wife. It's none of your business why I broke up with my wife or if I decide to put my door... It's nobody's business, and if I decide to put my wife to sleep, uh, that's nobody's business either. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, by, by the way, thanks for that. I, I was reading the book. I was finishing it up. I was sitting on my couch, and I get to the inside back cover. Thanks for that surprise uh, towards the end uh, of the book. I'll that tell was... you, that, that, that picture of my ass is the cover. I have a new joke book out called Jackie Jokes that's on Amazon right now. Uh, if you go to my, you know, to go my, to buy my book, you know, how on Amazon says uh, people who bought this book also bought this book, and the Jackie jokes that that picture of me with my ass is is on the cover of the book. It's huge. So if that was offensive, where did you see the cover of this book? It's huge. <laughs> You're in better so shape what, than it'll me. Take you right up, right? Yeah, right. Hey, how's the jetty? Is the jetty still alive? Does it uh, still? Sandy, Sandy took the jetty and uh, oh. it's been replaced. The next door neighbor put out another float, uh, and uh, so that I passed the mantle to the to my rich neighbors. But uh, but it's still wonderful. This is one thing I want to tell people: I, I tweet jokes every day at the four twenty marijuana time at <laughs> Jackie Marling. So anybody who likes jokes, follow me on Twitter at Jackie Marling. J a c k i e m a r t l i g. We do lots of jokes and lots of silliness, and uh, you know, and I, I'm not—I don't have a radio show anymore, but I'm, you know, doing podcasts all the time with you know, like Gilbert, and, uh, and I'm on with John Trugel Sang on Sirius, and you know, uh, Q104. I—I don't know. You're in Connecticut, so I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I, I go on with. Um, Oh, now I'm not going to think. Of PLJ that. and in ninety-five-one over in Brookfield. We're in that area. We get those guys. Yeah, I go on with. Uh, is it Elliot? Oh, Lou, Lou and Ethan. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, so, I'm old. It takes me a second to think of these. Now, Jackie, when are you getting your own podcast? How, like, it seems like every comedian... And now, everybody keeps saying, yeah. why don't you do one? But you know, it's a pain in the ass. It's a lot of work. It's so nice to just show up at somebody else's podcast. <laughs> one of these days. My girlfriend's sitting here giving me the evil eye because she's been after me like, like, 
why the hell aren't you doing it? You know, and I, I guess it makes me sound lazy, but I, I'm really not, you know. But we'll get there. We'll get there. I'll, I will... You'll be my first call when I get my podcast. Oh, all right. I appreciate that. And, Jack, I know you've explained, and it's it's now stuff of legend, the writing process you had on the Stern Show, where you'd be live on the air, you'd be passing Howard jokes by writing them down on a, on a piece of paper and literally slipping them to him uh, on the air. Uh, but I never knew. I, I thought it was fascinating. You you collected all the notes. Like, what was the process? Like, Stern would would read something and then put it in a pile for you. And no, no, no. Well, one that we had, the, you know, at, at each break, I just take the three, four, seven, however many notes were up there, accumulated during the during the uh, segment, and just put them to the side. I just and I just took them home and I saved them. That's all. There was there was there was not a lot of real th- forethought. I just said, hey, at the end of however long I do this, it'd be nice to have something that proved that I actually was sitting there doing something. So I just kept them and then it wound up being 15 years and a lot of notes you know it's a lot of fun do you still have them are they cataloged in any way they're in bed no they're in my mother's attic you know yeah if you took a a a random day on the howard stern show and gave me the date i could pull out the notes from that day and you could follow along and see what jokes i wrote it's it's it was i never have really done it but it's really i did do it one or two times and it's so funny because there it is and you know Bigger than hell. I forget what it was, but somebody asked me about something, and they gave me a date, and I chased it down, you know. And there, that's like a museum. That's like a showbiz museum up there of the, of the Howard Stern well, show. Well, yeah, I mean. you know, you know, if you know somebody in Connecticut, all you rich people, somebody wants to buy it. No, 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 no Jackie. Howard Stern no. Jackie, this is the lower Naugatuck Valley. Uh, we're not. We're, there's. This is not the rich part of the Connecticut. Blue collar Valley. I, I got to break that right uh, <laughs> right now. I'm sorry. So I'm talking to the poor section of Connecticut. Yes. I didn't know that existed. Well, listen, I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm having dinner with my girlfriend. She's beautiful. And the dinner is a lot tastier than you guys. But uh, I hope you do well with your charity thing. If there's anything I could do to uh, to perk it up, like I said, I'll be glad to send you a, a signed book. And then I'll send you a signed joke book, too. And uh, just tell, you, tell the people in Connecticut that I appreciate them. Yeah, and hey, Jackie, I appreciate you. I was a Howard Stern fan uh, for years. You're a big part of my childhood into adulthood, so I appreciate you taking the time to call in and uh, and to talk to us. And it's a good book, and I suggest right, people buy it. And I appreciate I appreciate the, you buying it and reading it. Thank you. All right, Jackie, take care. Bye bye. For hundreds of years, we brought you the news. For the info, we gave you the clue. We're always sky high Change in market now threatens our lives Post-literation, critical reading Dumb down nation, signs of inbreeding TV sucking ideas from our head Public discourse, just about dead We'll ride the dinosaur Yeah, ride the dinosaur our readers are in the opens each day Online clickbait, a brilliant way It's free information, here to stay Not even hookers give it away Advertising, metastasizing Newsroom shrinking Nutrition. We'll ride the dinosaur. We'll ride the dinosaur.